Hey there, Zach and Alejandra. Yeah, the stage is getting set here for the Juneteenth celebration here in Tulsa, and we do have a person here to talk about it. We have City Council person Vanessa Hill Harper joining us here. Paul Harper here joining us here. Thank you so much. Tell us Absolutely. about Juneteenth here in Tulsa. Uh, is, Juneteenth is, is extra special in June in Tulsa uh, because this is Greenwood, and and knowing the legacy and the history of Greenwood, uh, we're so excited about every opportunity to honor and to remember and to commemorate. Greenwood and all that it means to this community and really to this country. Uh, we say that Greenwood belongs to everyone, not just Tulsa. We are the original, but you will find Greenwood and Black Wall Streets all over this country. Um, many of them were destroyed in the early 1920s, not just Tulsa. And so we take every opportunity to acknowledge that uh, and to celebrate, obviously, the abolition of slavery in 1865. But as we fast forward today, uh, we want to remember uh, the achievements that we make every day, that we're making every day here in, in Tulsa. You know, uh, my district was a food desert for the last 14 years. And so we recently, within the last year, opened up a, we just celebrated the one year anniversary of, of the opening of a, of a, a full service quality grocery store. Uh, we just announced a couple of weeks ago the first black female to receive a $250 million development project. Right, so these are the things that we, we want to celebrate uh, just to, to remind ourselves of who we are as Africans in America. So there's so many Juneteenth celebrations around the country. Absolutely. What makes Tulsa's and what, may, what makes Greenwood so special? I think Greenwood is special because, you know, I, and, and maybe I'm, I'm you know, uh, prejudiced about this because yeah. I, I'm born and raised here. Of course. But because of the, the history and the legacy of Greenwood, what took place here uh, over 100 years ago, uh, where black people came one generation out of slavery and created uh, a mecca of entrepreneurship. Uh, unfortunately, it was destroyed by white hate, but we rebuilt and it shows our resilience. It, was, so it shows our resilience in this community and really in this country. And so I think that's what makes Greenwood special. And I think that what makes Tulsa's Greenwood special. So for people coming out here this weekend, what can they expect? I see food trucks already lined up, oh, the big wow. stage set up. What are people going to see out here? Uh, a celebration. They can they can expect celebration. And we hope to do some teaching as well of what uh, Juneteenth means. And, and there's this even extra uh, Juneteenth uh, uh, commemoration here because we have uh, the black tribe, tribal members. Um, so that's unique to Tulsa too. Our uh, freedmen uh, that were brought here through the, on the Trail of Tears that were property of tribes, uh, their, freed, their freedom didn't come until several years after 1865. So the tribes didn't release their slaves the same time the United States did. And a lot of people don't realize that. And so we want to try to uh, delve into that history every chance we can get to, to uh, stay true to who we are and, to, and stay true to America's history. We're not going, like some, uh, hide the history of this country as it relates to, to black people. Vanessa Hall Harper with the Tulsa City Council. We appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. You heard it all there. You heard the history. You heard the significance. It's just going to be such a special celebration here in Tulsa this weekend. So come out if you can. Uh, it's completely free. Tons of food trucks and, and black art and black artists and crafts and everything that you'd want to see out here. So get out here and uh, make a weekend of it if you can. Live in Tulsa this morning, Jason Hackett, KOCO 5 News.